Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to my Greg Tech New Horizon series. I'm just kind of getting ready to head back to the moon here. And one of the things I wanted to do was get this compressed chest. Um, it is actually not too bad. Um, it's not actually it's much easier than I realized it was. Um, these diamond chests are actually pretty easy. There are only four diamond plates in a chest, so that's actually pretty easy. But the reason I wanted to get this was because of that. <laughs> it's much bigger than anything I have at the moment, and one of my issues that I keep kind of running into is that my ores, I have like multiple chests of ores and stuff just because I just don't have enough room for any of this stuff. Um, so I think I'm going to move this and put all my like ores, just get them all in one kind of area. Thankfully that doesn't need, that can have something above it. It's not like a, a normal chest or anything. Um, it might be a little bit harder, but to find stuff in this. Um, but I wanted to get my uh, the the miner and um, the chest is like completely full of like iron stuff, and I just have nowhere to put any of it. Um, and I can probably put eventually I can probably put a, a storage bus on this or something. Um, I don't know what I want to do with this. I'm just going to throw it back here. Yes, that's exactly where I wanted to put that. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, what I'm doing is kind of getting ready to go back to the moon. And another thing I wanted to craft up here is data sticks so I can do the prospecting. And I have six of them. But I wanted to get a couple more here. And uh, not too, they're not difficult to make anymore. Um, but one of the things you do need is this NAND memory chips. So this does need an HV precision laser engraver with an ender pearl. You get this. And there is actually a quest for that right here. So there's NOR and NAND. So ender pearl lens. I think I got this from a quest, but the uh, problem with this one is that I need an ender eye lens. So there's an ender pearl and an ender eye lens, which I don't have, but I can't get this because I don't have a lathe that can make that. Um, so I need to build a lathe. Um, I just haven't got around to doing it yet. All right. But I just wanted to get these now. I have eight data sticks, so that's it's not great because I'm gonna have to like I can only do eight of these and then I have to go fly home kind of thing. So not the best, but uh, there's eight data sticks. And then I want to I need to grab my miner. Which is all the way down here. I may I'm like, why is one of my ladders missing? I have no idea. I must have broken it somehow. Yeah. Yeah, so I had nowhere to put any of this stuff. Um, all right. So I'm going to take this back. I'm going to empty out this, I think. I'm gonna lose a little bit of it, unfortunately. Although there are, let me see if this works. The universal cells from IC2 can do parts. No, unfortunately they can't. Oh, hello, it's just popping out the top if you don't have a chest. Um, there are, I think they're called flasks. Yeah, this volumetric flask also does parts of like a bucket um, but I can't do this yet because I don't have this molten 
stuff yet. Anyway, that is something to look at in the future. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and break this. I think we are good on... Oh, I have my... Yeah, let's put that back down while I do this. All right, so let me get back to the base, and I may actually just uh, meet you back on the moon and do some prospecting. All right, we are back on the moon, and I am just doing some prospecting here. Now, this takes oops, um, 40 seconds, so it's not the fastest of items here. But, uh, yeah, looking at my oxygen, it's going down at a pretty decent clip here. Um, but this liquid oxygen thing gives me so many, um, like so many um, things of oxygen that it goes by pretty quick. Now, I am, one of the small problems here is that I have to take this back to, the base to find out what's actually in it. So I'm trying to keep this kind of organized. So this is one, this is two. Um, I don't know if that's actually going to do much when I get back. But uh, yeah, might as well try. All right, and just wait a second so I don't blow this thing up by placing the powder barrel on the ground. So yeah, I think I'm just going to go... I did one, two, three. Um, I think we'll probably do three and then maybe three this way. Maybe three this way. I don't, I don't know. I haven't quite <laughs> figure out how I want to do this. Um, those, I'm assuming that's at the top left is my oxygen, right? I'm assuming. Yeah. I wish it had actual numbers on it, though. All right, so number three. Let me do number three here so I can... I think it'll say what the, um, it'll say the coordinates on it, but I think, I don't know, I'm just seeing maybe that would be easier to have it do that. Um, there is this fallen meteor thing here. I don't know. Oh, meteoric. Iron. Okay. Well, that's cool. Because the oxygen, the medium oxygen tanks require meteoric steel. And I'm assuming this is how you, uh, sort of how you get it. I think there is actual iron. Although that doesn't say it generates on the moon. So, hmm, I don't know. Anyway, uh, let me get one more, or let me finish up the rest of these. I need to kind of hurry up here because I don't have a whole, I don't have like a unlimited supply of oxygen here. So I'm kind of like, How about like right here? Wait for it to sit down. Oh, I need two, don't I? Yep, yeah, there we go. So you need to have two in your inventory at once. All right, so let me uh, finish doing all this and then we will uh, I'll probably meet you back at the base. All 
All right, we are heading back to the overworld. And I don't know, really don't know if that's like the way it's supposed to work or what's up with that. Because you just kind of fall. I happen to land in water, so I don't know if that is, uh, I don't know why I landed here or I guess I landed kind of near it, but there's, yeah. This is what I was waiting for. And this is your rocket. We'll be in here. So we can go ahead and pull that out. And I think, can I pull out, I can pull out some of the, the fuel. It feels not overly important to be honest. I guess I don't know if I even need to keep this. But anyway, that's how you end up getting back home. And I think a couple planets do. Or most planets maybe. Do, I don't know. <laughs> do the parachute thing. Or which ones do a lander. I'm assuming like space planets will do the lander. And then... The, um, yeah, then like Earth does the parachute thing falling from the sky. I really, I don't know. Um, but you can use this chest if you want, but uh, it's not anything super exciting, especially when there's much, much better packs or much better chests in the pack. So if we just kind of, I mean, this one for sure doesn't, this has no like, uh, inventory at all. Um, but if you do the other rockets, I believe it has a bigger inventory. I don't even know if there is a point to saving that, to be honest. All right, I forgot to place this down, but I will put this in my inventory. So I got the five, or I got the eight things here. Um, so why don't I go ahead and I got to do all the scanning. If I remember correctly. It's been a little while since I've done the prospecting. Put that away. But I want to keep this in order so I know. I mean, I, it should have the, it'll have the coordinates on it. Um, but that'll be easier to identify them, I think. If I do this um, this way. Anyway, let me do another cut and we will come back. So I am just turning all my stuff back into books. This process gets a little bit tedious, but it's actually not too bad with the, uh, the polyvinyl stuff. Anyway, Let's take a look here. I'm kind of. All right, so there is an iron vine, iron vine, uh, chalcopyrite vein. And there's a galena vein somewhere. Oh, there's bauxite. So we do, looks like it did find a bunch of, um, did find a bunch of stuff that I'm going to want to take a look at. I will have to go through this and like, this is the vein, like it's right above. So I guess, so one, let's do, I don't know if it's exactly at this location, but this one is. I guess we'll just say copper. Yeah. I'm going to put it back there and then like two. Anything good. This looks like it's a, a certus quartz. Certus quartz vein. 
aluminum. That's cool. And bauxite. There's definitely a bauxite vein. I gotta, but I gotta go through like the map and really kind of. Um, oh, there is a lot of dimensions. Holy cow. Let's try that again. So two is Certus Quartz, I'd say. Let's look at one more. So this is three. Oh, look at this. This is... This looks like it's a bauxite vein. I think that's... Yeah, so it looks like three is a, a bauxite vein. So that's good. So I will definitely have to head back there and start mining up some of that stuff. Um, is there any way you can change dimensions on this map? I can't remember if you can. I don't think you can. Um, but let's take a look at the... Yeah, this looks like it's also... Four is coming in at an aluminum kind of thing. All right, but this is the underground liquids, I th think. So I'm not sure if, I don't know if it's like underground lakes or is this like the same as the oil where you put the drill down and it gets down to, I'm assuming it gets down to, once it gets down to bedrock, it'll start pumping this. Um, so lots of helium. Unfortunately, the salt water isn't the greatest. And it says salt water is good for chlorine. So basically you send it through, you know, two buckets. You can pump up and send it through and you get chlorine in an electrolyzer. Um, otherwise, oh, you get sodium hydroxide out of that too. That's pretty cool. Anyway, let me go through all this stuff and see what I can come up with with uh, all the veins that the prospect united. All right, so I have found um, a chromite vein. Now it's two levels. Um, unfortunately, I forgot to bring ladders, so I'm going to have to fill her back up here. Um, but if we look at my mini map, it's kind of uh, all the different waypoints or whatever. So the good one, Bauxite, is I think a good one. Galena, Bastonite I found, and Chromite. Haven't found a Wolfenite, I think, is one of them. I can't remember. Um, but I just kind of want to show what these vein look like. So um, I'm going to have to pillar up here because I don't have a, any ladders. Um, but yeah, so the chromite vein is ilmenite on top. This ore and this other one, perlite ore, and then the chromite's on the very bottom. Um, unfortunately, it is nighttime when I arrived. So it may be a little dangerous out there. But I th think hopefully I will be able to get back relatively safe. Let me go ahead and throw on my night vision. Unfortunately, night vision doesn't work so well when you're... Uh, when you're mining because you get the uh like the blindness or whatever it is. Alright, so gotta be careful here. Cause the last thing I wanna do is die on the 
the moon. Holy cow. Yeah, so definitely <laughs> avoid the mine at night or when it's nighttime. It is kind of fun that all the stuff flies around like crazy though. I have no idea what that is. It was. Yeah, there it is again. I don't appear to be aggroing anything. Oh, I'm aggroing something. I don't want to die here, and I have a feeling I'm going to. Oh my goodness. Luckily, being thrown up doesn't hurt too bad on the moon. An invisible mob, that's what it is. Alright, I gotta be really careful here. Can't see anything. Come on, heal up. Alright, so let's get this. Thing back and fueled up. I should have had this fueled up before. I'm like really nervous here. This is like, <laughs> this is kind of stressing me out actually. because I know there's so many like mobs around. All right, let's hurry up here. <laughs> Fortunately, this fuel loader isn't going super fast. All right, but uh, let's meet back at the base since I think I have managed to survive this. And uh, we'll take a look at some of the ores that we got. All right, I am back at the base, and somehow I managed to lose my sword, and I don't know what I did with it. All of a sudden, I noticed it was missing from my hotbar, um, so I just ended up making a vanadium steel with Damascus steel rod. I had some Damascus steel, and that gives a five times durability. Um, so unfortunately, this isn't leveled up, so it's not as good as my other one, but I don't know what I did with it. I must have accidentally done that and not realized at some point and dropped it, is my guess. Um, but I'm not entirely sure, yeah, what I did with it. Anyway, getting back, we have our chromite. And I don't know what... A lot of this, I think like this one, like you can get a bunch of oxygen and stuff from this. Calcium, two chrome, silicon and oxygen. Um, but the one I'm really like wanted was this chromite. Because seven, you get two iron and some oxygen, so that's pretty cool. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and get this crafting up. But the um, there we go. Um, the main reason for going to the moon is to get titanium, and I think. If I remember. Yep. So 
we'll claim that. Just throw that in there. Oh, I forgot I had stuff in here. I did do a couple barrels here um, to clear out my inventory a bit. Um, I'm going to put some of this away. What does this get? Like, what is perlite? Uh, like an obsidian, and that's it. It's basically obsidian in water. That's not very exciting. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Well, I mean, it's kind of... I guess it's easy to get a bunch of obsidian from that, because obsidian takes a while to grind down. Anyway, uh, titanium. Let's go to this. Rutile, chlorine, and carbon dust makes titanium tetrachloride. Combine it with magnesium, will give you hot titanium ingots. Freeze those, and you get your first titanium. On the moon, if you're lucky, you can find ilmenite, which will make processing titanium a bit easier. So let's take a look at this one as well. So this gets you ilmenite. All right, so this is what we need, rutile. And we also get a chance when we pulverize it down. All right, so we probably want this. Do we want to purify it first? No, it just gets you iron. So it looks like we're just going to crush this down. Let's. Um, actually, what is the? That's nah, only iron. Doesn't matter. I don't want it to hammer it down, so. All right. I wish I knew what those coins bought. I don't know if they just haven't kind of been implemented yet. Because I didn't see anything. Yeah, nothing new. Yeah, I don't see anything that has is new. That could, yeah, that's anything different. Hopefully they will get added at some points, but anyway. So here is the crushed ammonites, and then we will thermal centrifuge that, it looks like. So just in there. And I believe this is, yeah, that's a, this recipe, this machine does 100%. Um, so the root tile, I think I need one root tile. Yeah, let's do titanium. There's the titanium ingot, hot titanium. So there we go. So we need two magnesium. And the other thing we need is this titanium tetrachloride. And for this, we need one root tile, two carbon, and four chlorine. And I believe one, yeah, one of those is one ingot. So let me throw some more in here. Now, hopefully when I centrifuge this down or when I pulverize it down, I will get a the better chance. Now, bauxite is also another way to get titanium. Yeah, uh, but this gives grossular ore when you pulverize it. So you thermal centrifuge it, but this also gives gallium as a byproduct, which is pretty amazing because gallium is such a pain. I never did end up getting the crop. I kind of like got distracted and there's just so much. You have to like babysit those crops so much because of the weeds. Um, I never kind of cut that. All right, but the so let's get. I do have chlorine. I don't have a ton of it. So this is definitely something I'm going to have to get a lot more of if I'm going to be using tons of chlorine. I don't know. I'm just going to. What was the titanium? 
it's all one word, isn't it? Yeah. So four titanium, two carbon. I need lots of carbon, but diamond dust is actually a great... It's a great source of carbon dust. You get a whole stack from one diamond dust. Um, but I think I used it all, didn't I? I might have some extra. Yep. From the carbon rods. Which I was using to get. Also torches. Almost done with that. So I guess we will do, I gotta figure out how I wanna, cause using this thing, I guess I would make another tank. That's probably what I'll do. Um, I'll have another tank over here down there. So it's a, why don't I just add one of these tanks? How about we do that uh, for now? Are you done yet? There we go. Also magnesium, I don't see any. Oh, I just noticed the search bar doesn't pop up under this. That's a bit annoying. I have to do it that way. All right, I may need to go get magnetite or magnesium. Shoot, let me go get some magnesium and we will come back. All right, I actually had magnesium ingots on me. I didn't realize. Um, but I put the Ilmenites through the Universe Mater and I got one. From 13 I got one extra Rutile because I had that one earlier. Alright, so let's go ahead and throw that in there. That'll go in there. So with the Rutile, Carbon. that'll get us titanium tetrachloride and I set up a tank underneath um, this kind of needs to go in here maybe it needs a fluid hatch and this has hydrogen in it can I get this out in any way I may need to run this <laughs> all right no I can get it out of there um, Man, these this simple hand pump is so convenient. All right. Titanium tetrachloride. All right, so why didn't that export? I've been having issues with this. Uh, maybe I think I probably did that wrong, didn't I? Yeah. I had the fluid kept backing up into it, like, and I don't know. I have this forbidden from doing that, and it kept doing it. I don't know when I was making ammonia, but I wasn't near it when it was happening, so I didn't see what it did. All right. So there is titanium tetrachloride. Didn't I have two? Yeah, all right. <laughs> Got to be careful with that. So we put the titanium tetrachloride in there. We add more or the magnesium and um, I 
I think it's, I'm assuming it's like an 11. Oh, it's 12. So that's a different process. Um, I guess it's time to grab a another circuit. Throw those in there. I really need to get a bigger input bus as well. All right, and there is the titanium we are finally producing. Now, in between episodes, I'm going to finish up the this quest because I need 16 of these, so I don't want to put them in the freezer yet. Um, until I have 16 and then we'll do them all at once so I complete this quest and uh, yeah that finally kind of opens up I believe the next chapter which would be the EV age extreme voltage age um, because the machine casings is it no machine hull that's what I wanted the EV machine hull is made from titanium so we're basically that is the gate to the uh next stage uh, but anyway that's going to be it for this episode our uh, next episode we'll come back and uh we'll progress a bit further so thanks for watching and have a good one